As we developed the UBS Cocoon system, it was important to us that we did so with the partnership of the mayor's office, the building commissioner's office, and the industry. Anybody coming into the building business is gonna look at the UBS Cocoon system as it's the way things should be done. We work with UBS whenever we can because the engineering capability that resides within that firm is best in class. UBS has always been and will always be at the leading edge of safety innovation to not only those working in the construction industry, but to the general public around it. Prior to installing the UBS Cocoon, we provide both the general contractor and the concrete contractor a set of plans showing where all of the cast and place inserts are to be located. The concrete contractor will cast these inserts into the floor slab prior to UBS getting to the job site. Once the inserts are in place on two floors, UBS will deliver the outrigger brackets needed to support the cocoon panels, and these get installed. The panels themselves are loaded on the truck in reverse order to how they're actually going to get installed on the building. This is so that when the truck pulls up to the job site, they can be unloaded from the truck and installed directly onto the building without tying up any valuable real estate on the ground floor. The panels are lifted one at a time. They're put into the brackets, then they're lowered slightly until they engage what are called the dongle pins on the dongles themselves. This supports the brackets vertically and once they're in place, there are wind locks on the outrigger brackets which will keep them installed and secured. After the panels are installed, the slider rails are the next thing to be installed. They're craned from the truck lifted vertically above and over the panels and slid down through the frame of the panels engaging with the dongle pins on the same outrigger brackets that are currently supporting the adjacent panels. That completes the installation of the system. Once the system's installed, the gap flaps, which are horizontal rated work platforms that pivot down from the inside of the frames on the cocoon panel, lower down. They rest on the edge of the concrete slab. That closes the gap from the edge of the concrete to the panels themselves. The final thing to be installed are the secondary material handling nets. They are a backup installed from the edge of the cocoon system. They drape down, then they come back up to the lower outrigger bracket and secure to the slab inside of the slab edge. What this does is to prevent any small debris from falling off of the building once the upper flaps are pivoted back up into their raising position. The next step is to raise the cocoon system in sequence with the building construction itself. After a new floor is poured, a new outrigger is installed directly above the outrigger on the floor below. It is anchored into place in the cast in place inserts, and a chain fall is temporarily hung from the outrigger bracket, with the chain coming down and securing to the panel at the lowest elevation. It is then manually lifted up one floor until it reaches the new outriggers and its new position, at which time it's locked off in place and the wind locks engaged. After the panel secured in place, the slider rail, which is between the frames of the panels, is lifted up using the same procedure with the chain fall manually. After it gets to its final location, the gap flaps are lowered down and the material net, which is currently on the lower floor, is raised up to be on the current bottom bracket floor. At the end of the job, UBS dismantles the cocoon system similar to how it was installed at the beginning. The inherent benefit is that it's safer for everybody, so what it, 
what it does is it assures that nothing or nobody can fall off a building. So creating a safer environment for the public and a safer environment for the men is, is conscionably the right thing to do for everybody. And quite frankly, having worked with the cocoon, I don't know how we could do a job without it going forward. Thank you.